okay what's up everybody and welcome back to yet another vlog first of all i'd just like to thank everyone for the well wishes with the birth of our daughter marie and uh, i'll first probably have to do a couple of dna tests uh, to make sure she's mine because uh, she's i think too beautiful to be mine but i guess that's what all parents say right um anyway um so this is kind of a starter pack for the winter if you want to call it that i'm going to share some of my personal tips with you to get through this winter so without further ado here we go Okay, what's up everybody and uh, welcome back to another vlog. I'm in Andorra, um, just doing two 30 minute intervals today and uh, I'll perhaps share a bit of tips. Um, I'm not as familiar as the Europeans with uh, um, training in the cold, so I've learned my own way. Um, first of all, the thing I have on me works quite well um, for covering your head, mouth, and it's obviously breathable without fogging up your glasses which is quite important at times especially when descending the mountains um yeah sometimes i just also put guard wrap over my shoes and then so i've got two shoe covers because when my toes are freezing um i really don't want that to happen and then also sometimes you know when i'm training i have to go on my phone and uh it's really cold so I just pull out one thumb as I'm holding the phone in my hand so I can work on that like this you see and then these four fingers kind of stay warm Okay, so first up, um, coming down the mountain, um, lots of ice up there, um, roads are always wet and what I like to do is I just uh, like to uh, wash off the, the dirt and bacteria from my bottle um, because the roads are really dirty and there's a lot of bacteria on the road as you know that kicks up onto your bottle, you drink that, you get sick and uh, to give you some idea how serious I take hygiene is 2019 I probably only fell sick once and, 29, and 2020 not once so basically paying attention to these small things can really really make a big difference also like I've mentioned so it's quite wet up there and uh, I've got glad wrap underneath this so but not too much otherwise your feet will sweat but uh, what I'm trying to do is, is uh, the water actually this is boot waterproof booties, but the water actually doesn't go through them. They come in underneath. And what the glad wrap helps with is um, when that water come, comes in underneath where your cleat 
opens um, the glad rope helps a little bit and um, keeping the water out of your shoe and especially living up at you tell me about sea level my toes get really really wet okay and then another thing i like doing whenever i take out gloves or stuff if you have the ability to do it this is like a big buff i highly recommend um if you are not sponsored with one or you don't like what you have um buy one of these um it's like all in one so you don't have something to put over your head your ears and use a different buff this is like all in one works really well and uh, it has holes to breathe breathe through so it's also pretty cool and then sometimes if i'm doing intervals i quickly take it off while i'm riding i don't want to stop and uh, i just hang it dry and uh, within 10 minutes it dries out quite quickly so that's pretty pretty cool Okay, and so for the final tip um, of the day, as I just reached home, um, is I actually found that you don't really need a really thick, expensive ASOS jersey. Um, this is actually a jersey the, the team gave me. Um, you'll see it looks like a normal, um, looks like a normal rain jacket. Well, a casual, normal, walking, very thin layer rain jacket. And what it does well is it keeps the heat of your body that your body generates very well inside and it's also stiff around the arms around your arms so the wind doesn't come in and blow you up like a air balloon so this really has, has uh, kept me quite warm just this in minus five degrees so just a tip out there if you might want to pop into your local store and just buy a cheap rain jacket but it's tight around the arms so the, the air doesn't come in oh yeah and before i forget another thing is these babies in the rain in the ice up in the mountains when the roads are always wet or you go around an unexpected corner and it's wet um, i ride my tires currently at five bars so i can confidently still go around the corners however there's still ice patches around some corners in the sh in the shade be very careful of that wow. this is a mess and all right Okay, and I seem to be forgetting a lot of stuff is gloves. Um, these gloves work quite well um, if I'm riding at a decent tempo and my, there's a lot of blood flow going through my arms. But for me the biggest obstacle has been living up here at 2000 meters above sea level. Um, where it gets to minus 10, minus 15, uh, minus 19 has been the coldest is the fact that if my hands are freezing and my toes are freezing I simply can't ride the bike outside so um, whatever you do um, and something I found that works really well to um, fight this is I need to leave the home I need to leave home really warm so if I leave home and the temperature inside the house is warm and my hands are warm um, I managed to, to descend, descend down into town and my you know like when it's really cold my hands manage and my toes as well but when I leave the house and I've been working a lot of hours on the laptop I've also noticed that my hands are really cold and if I go train immediately they get my colder much quicker and it's small things that you never think of that actually makes a big difference They start. Who's here? Show me. Show me. Where is she? Hello. Hello. Is my arms cold? Are they cold? Ooh. Ooh. They're really cold, huh? Sorry. Show my nose. Shame. <laughs>